In this lesson, we will talk about how we can add materials to the objects in our model. As you have seen in a previous lesson, I imported a table and a bed from 3D Warehouse. Certain materials had been assigned to those objects by their manufacturer. When materials have been added to the objects of your model, the result is more detailed and impressive. Firstly, I have to show you how to import materials into the scene. To import SketchUp materials, you have to expand the, the Materials tab, which is located in the default tray window. In case this tab does not appear in the default tray, right-click on it and select Manage Trays. The Manage Trays window appears shortly after. You can select the default tray and choose to display the, the Materials dialog. In my case, this tab is already selected, so I will close this window. At the top of the Materials tab, a preview and the name of the selected material appear. By default, the default material is selected. Right below, you can find all the available materials. If you expand the drop-down menu right below the materials preview and name, you can see all the available material categories. For instance, if I select glass and mirrors, only the glass and mirror materials will be displayed. In this example, I want to create a wooden floor, so I need to find the corresponding material. To do that, I will expand the drop-down again and select the wood category. If I hover the cursor over each wooden material image, its name appears. I will search for the wood floor material, and once I find it, I'll click on it to select it. Notice now that the cursor's shape changed into a paint bucket, which indicates that you can place the material on the desired object. To place the material on the floor, I just need to click on it, but I noticed that the material was applied to the entire floor. That happened because the floor is part of a group. Since this is not what I wanted, I will press the Ctrl and Z keys to undo the material application. Then I will activate the Select tool and double-click on the floor of the building. Once I am in the editing mode of the group, which means that I can choose the floor, I will click again on the material I want to apply and then click on the floor's surface. Notice that this time the material was applied to the floor correctly. In the same way, I will place another material on the exterior surface of the building's walls. First, I will double-click on the upper floor, then from the Materials tab, I will select the Asphalt and Concrete category, and finally, I will select the Concrete Aggregate Smoke material. Now it's time to click on the wall surfaces around the building to apply the material. Now, I will repeat the same process for the first floor's walls. I will double-click on the first floor, select the Concrete Aggregate Smoke material, and apply it to the wall surfaces. Notice how the building looks more realistic as I apply materials to its surfaces. I will continue to place a few more materials. The small room in the building will be the bathroom, so I will place tiles on both the walls and the floor. So, I will double-click on the floor, select the Tile category from the Materials tab, and then select the Marble Carrara Floor Tile. Next, I will click on its walls. To apply a tile material to the floor, I must divide the floor's surface first. To achieve that, I will activate the Line tool and draw a line to set the bathroom's boundaries. I will remove the surface that was automatically created at the door and select the Field Rectangle Tile from the Materials tab. At last, I will click to apply it. Before we finish the lesson, I will also apply a simple paint color to the interior walls. So, I will expand the Categories drop-down, and I will select the Colors named Category. From the available colors, I will select 0028 Antique White and apply it to the interior walls. 